Hi guys, Debbie here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. So today's video, I'm super excited to do. I've been on a bit of a low buy, well a lot actually, in October and I've not bought anything until I saw these palettes being talked about on Nikki Raven's makeup releases video that she puts out on a Monday. If you want to know all of the new releases and she talks about some really interesting brands as well, not the, the usual that everybody does talk about, then definitely recommend checking Nikki's channel out. But she talked about these palettes and they're the Wildlife palettes from Barry M, which are a British brand and just look at the packaging. I'm a cat fan, big cats and domestic cats. So when I saw the packaging on these, I just knew I had to pick them up, whatever they were like inside. They're so cute as well. They're like the smallest little, like cute sort of hold them in your hand size. But the artwork is stunning. So that one is the, the tiger. And then you've also got this one, which is the Snow Leopard. So I'll show you the, the shades inside, but you do have a little protective sleeve on them. I don't know if you can see the, the shininess there. There's nothing on the front, but but inside there is like a, there's a mirror and there is a, a little shiny protective sleeve over the shades. So because they're drugstore, I do appreciate that so that people haven't dipped their fingers into the shadows, but there's not overly amount of packaging on them, too much plastic, and I'm trying to avoid that where I can. So this is cardboard packaging, which I love to see. There's a lovely or pretty sad message, but lovely in sentiment of what they're trying to do on the back of each of them. So I'm just going to read you that because on the back of the tiger one it says this so 96 percent of the world's tiger population has been wiped out in the last 100 years just reading that makes me sick to my stomach to be honest it's just so sad but it says by choosing this limited edition barry m wildlife tiger eyeshadow palette you're supporting tiger conservation barry m has always been proudly cruelty free but now we're committed to do more uh, to help nurture and protect animals around the world wildlife has always inspired us so now we're giving back helping to protect the natural world Barry M is working with David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation to help fund and raise awareness for their vital conservation work. And you can learn more at barrym.com wildlife. Um, and it says, with your support, this will be one of many wildlife products. At least 20% of the net products of this sale of the item will be donated to the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. So just read you just uh, a little bit about the the snow leopard one as well it's the same foundation it's going to but it says one snow leopard is killed or lost to the illegal wildlife trade every day as few as four thousand now remain in the wild those are just shocking statistics and it's so good to see a brand taking on a cause like this and trying to do good so and they're a british brand which is amazing for me so they're available in superdrug if you're in the uk you can pick these up in superdrug for seven pounds 99 uh, I think they are super drug exclusive so if you're in the US or elsewhere you may struggle to get these but for the UK this was I've only got very small super drug in uh, my town in Rushton and they had them there uh, not particularly well sort of like advertised but I knew they were there I was looking for them I think they could have had a bigger stand to sort of promote these because I think they will be really popular but today I'm going to use the tiger one to create a look and this video is going to be two parts and I'm going to do a look with the snow leopard one as well so today is Tuesday morning I'm going to film with this one and then tomorrow I'm going to film with the snow leopard one and put the two together for a sort of two palettes kind of um, first impressions as it were and to give you some ideas of what you can do with the colours so I'm just going to unpack the palette so that is the shades inside i'm hoping that this is focusing okay for you guys but an interesting neutral color scheme to this one very warm with that pop of green in the center so i thought the colors were really attractive and for a drugstore palette to have a mirror all the shades named as they are just the whole aesthetic of it for the price i think is incredible so i really hope that they perform well but the the shade names are lovely we've got pounce per kingdom ferocious jungle savannah prowl feline and snarl so i love how they've gone with the theme with the names as well so makes my heart happy to to see so i'm hoping that they're going to perform well i'm going to do i think a fairly 
burgundy kind of colour scheme so I'm definitely going to be using um, pounce in my look here I want to use jungle because I want to bring some of the green in and I haven't decided what else so I'll just be playing with the palette as I go and then as I say tomorrow for me but in a few moments for you I'll play with the snow leopard and then I'll round up my thoughts at the end of the video and tell you what I think of the formula so let's get started with the tiger one so I think what I'm going to do is do a two color crease so I'm going to do the green closer to my nose and inner corners and go with the more burgundy shade pounce in my outer corner or outer part of my crease. So I'm going in with the green which is jungle. I've picked up quite a bit of pigment there on my brush just by dipping it in so I'm, I've got high hopes for what the formula might perform like here. I'm just gonna pack that in my crease but in a sort of centre or not centre, towards my nose. Now straight off the bat, I would say it's not a scarily pigmented green. It's, it's pigmented enough, but it's not, you know, I think it's gonna be easy to blend out. So quite beginner friendly is what I wanna say, but it has got quite a bit of pigment still. So a buildable kind of formula, I think. Very nice tone to it though. The only other Barium palette I've got, eyeshadow wise, is the Paradise palette and I'll link my video for the Paradise palette in the cards so that you can see. With that one it was very pale pastels and duo chrome shades and beautiful shades but not enough mattes really in that one to be able to create the kind of looks that I like. I mean I've no problem bringing other things in. And actually, I think some of these shades, particularly this one, will complement some of the colours in there. So I'm not sad I bought it from that point of view either. There's not very much kick up at all, which is great. Now I'm going to go into Pounce now. I'm going to lay that next to the Jungle shade, but obviously not blend it in too much because they're not the sort of colours that really blend with each other, but I think they'll sit nice next to one another and that's beautiful and when you first look at this palette you see sort of the oranges and kind of warm tones but I wanted to do something that was a bit less obvious I suppose yeah I really love the tones of that pouch shade and I think having that in the palette definitely makes it a lot more versatile than it might have been otherwise. These are going down really nicely for a drugstore palette costing £7.99. I'm not having to work too hard at all to build up that pigment. That looks really nice. Got another Spectrum Trail just to swap to another colour. I'm going to go in with the deep brown, so brown next in my outer corners. I'm going to connect up where I've put down the pounce shade. I'll work that into my outer corner. I'll be really interested to see what else they're planning to add to this line because it says a range of products and obviously there's the two palettes at the moment that's all I could see in Superdrug so it sounds like more items are coming which I'm excited to see you guys will have to tell me in the countries that you are if you're not in the UK can you get hold of Barium I think they've got their own website and quote me on that I've only ever bought them in Superdrug but I think they do so it's probably possible it's probably just going to be the shipping that would put people off I guess if you're not from the UK. Alright we've got a, a matte cream shade called Purr there and I'm just going to go into that one with a fluffy brush just to blend out above the shades in my crease just really gently just to Give me a fade into my brows and also a bit of a brow bone highlight as such there and that's the perfect 
brow bone highlight stroke eraser kind of shade for me but I am super pale so it might be too light for some of you worked well for me just to give me just like that blurring around the edges that I wanted there. Now there's three shimmers in this palette so we've got Feline which is the really pale champagne -y sort of coloured shimmer there. We've got Snarl which is a reddish brown and we've got Kingdom which is more of a goldy shade. So I think what I'm going to do is take Snarl in the centre part of my lids and then I'm going to go with Kingdom in the or inner part of my lids. So, so snarl first. And I've not laid down any adhesive at all there actually, which I forgot to do because I normally would lay down a glitter glue or something. So I've not done that, but it's laying down okay. So that's good to see. So I'm going to lay that shade, the snarl shade, on both eyes, and then I'll probably some glitter glue on the inner part of my lids just to see if it makes any difference with the kingdom shade but that for going on dry just over my matte paisley paint pot which is what i've got as a primer which is another particularly tacky primer so i'm just going to lay down some glitter glue now this is the Too faced glitter primer which is not my favorite but it's the only one that i currently have so. It works okay, but I think it's a little bit more difficult to spread out on the eyes than the NYX one, so I don't like it quite so much. But it's going to do the job. So I've just almost cut the inner part of the crease with that. Concealer Brush by Sigma to do the inner part of the shadow because it's got quite a precise kind of tip to it, so I think that'll help me. So I'm going to go in with the Kingdom shade. Just like a coppery goldy shade, looks really pretty in the pan. So I'm trying to get that quite precise and not blended so that it almost looks like a, a cut crease on that front portion now where it touches the green. And it's a goldy foil kind of shade with a warm copperiness to it. Absolutely stunning. For lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with a green pencil in my waterline. So I've got Linda Halberg's Calm Mood to do that. And then just so that we can try out another shade really, I'm going to go in with Ferocious on my lower lash line. Oh, it's a lovely warm tone reddish brown and then for my inner corners and that little space I've got in my lower lash line there I'm going to go in with feline I'm managing to get most of the shades into the look what I'm trying to do. I think the only one I've not used is Savannah. Actually just that we've tried Savannah I'm just going to take a bit of Savannah just on this same brush and I'm just going to use that just to help me blend that inner corner in with the ferocious shade that's laid down on my lower lash. Okay, that's a look right now. I think what I want to do is to put a trace of liner over my upper lids. Might just go with black actually, so I'll do that off camera. And I'll be right back with you to show you the final look with mascara and lips done. Okay guys, so here's the finished look for this one. And I'm really happy with it. Uh, 
I think for a drugstore palette, there's a lot of pigmentation there and I've managed to create quite an impactful eye with these shades. So really, really impressed so far. I'll give you my full thoughts on each shade at the end of the video, but, but for right now, really happy with the way that this look came out. I've paired it with Leo by Menagerie. I thought staying with the animal theme and it really suits the eye look well as well. It's such a unique tone in this lipstick. I love this one. So that's look number one with the Tiger palette. Let's move into look number two with the Snow Leopard palette. So now I'm going to do a look with the Snow Leopard palette, which is this one. And the colours inside this one are these. Super pretty blue and grey colour scheme with a pop of like a pinky shimmer there. So there's two mattes in this palette, which are the deep navy blue twilight and the creamy colour solitary. The rest are shimmers. So this one might be a little bit more tricky just to stay in this palette, but, but that's what we're going to do today. So obviously I'm going to use the two mattes and make the most of those and it'll be probably quite a, a deep crease that I'll achieve with those. And then I think I'm going to try and use as many colours on my eyes as I did in the, the previous look and try and try out the palette as much as I can for you guys. So I'll scoot you in and let's start with the look with the Snow Leopard. I'm going to start by going in with Solitary and I'm going to set my crease area and above it towards my brows to make blending out that deeper navy shade, the twilight shade, a lot easier because that is a very deep colour to, to blend on an unset base which is what I have here. For me anyway, I always struggle to do that, so I'm just going to set this area above my crease. And I think this colour is so close to my own skin tone, you probably won't see it laid down at all, but it's just going to, as I say, just give me that base to blend into, which will hopefully make things a bit easier. And we'll also see how good the shades are if they are layered over a set base because I know some people prefer to do that, some people prefer to use an unset base, at least you get to see them performing either way. So then I'm going into Twilight, the, the navy matte, and I'm going to pack that in my crease. It's not nearly as dark as it looks in the pan and that's probably because I've put it over a set base, but two dips so far into the shadow and we're getting a fairly decent amount of pigmentation there. This one I'm going to try and do a bit more of a rounded shape I think. I'm going to take that one to my lower lash line as well. Worrying too much about what's going on on my lids because I'll be covering that with some shimmers anyway. I just really want to lay down quite a decent amount of this shadow and it's actually quite intense once you've laid up a couple of layers of it as such. I think for drugstore mats these are really really good. Like they're blending nicely but they've got quite a good amount of pigmentation as well. Which the drugstore has improved so much over the years. I really was not a fan of drugstore makeup for the longest time. Sometimes because of the packaging, so I just think part of the joy of buying new makeup for me is the whole experience, you know, the packaging is part of that. But with this one, it's got the packaging down and the formula, but at a really good price. So I'm not going all the way into the centre because I want to leave myself a bit of room there. But that blue has got a really deep intensity to it. Just going back in with solitary there cream shade just to diffuse the edges and just help blend without dragging the shadow down too far. I love a good navy shade as well and they're not that common even in more expensive higher end palettes you don't find very many navies actually even there and even if you get one they're not really that great so it's good to have one in a smaller more travel friendly palette. I've got a really good one in the Morphe 39A, but that is an enormous palette to take anywhere, so it's good to have this one to be able to have it close at hand. 
just going in with the Too Faced Glitter Glue now, just on my lids. I'm going to put that pretty much all over my lids this time and into my crease a little bit because I want to put shimmer there as well. And this is going to be more of a blended shimmer look rather than looking more like a cut crease. So making sure I'm shearing out that glitter glue, just using it there just as a just as a means to make the shadows more intense really. Alright, I think next I'm gonna go in with ice. So this one here. Probably in the centre of my lids. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go across the line I think. So I'm gonna go that one on the outer corner, that one on the centre, that one more towards the inner. So I'm putting the ice shade in the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with Prey and pack that in the centre. I think that would have gone really nice with the, the greys actually. Now I'm seeing the tone of it on my eyes. But it is super pretty. Not probably the most foiled one I've ever seen. I'm having to build that one up quite a bit to get the opacity that I want, but it is really, really pretty. I'm going to go in with this one which is frost in my inner part of my lid. Oh wow, well, that one is really beautiful. That's a stunning shade. What I'm going to try and do with that one is drag that one up a bit more, sort of towards my brow a little bit. And I might end up having to put a bit more of the twilight shade, the navy shade, to meet it. But I didn't think I'd gone high enough in my crease. So I think I dampened it down a bit too much when I blended it out. But that is such a beautiful colour. Wish I'd used that all over the lid now. I'm going to go back in with twilight into my crease again just to see if I can meet up with that blue a little bit more because I've got a bit of a gap going on there and I think I could have gone quite a bit higher. I just want to get a blend into that blue shimmer if I can and still meet up with that outer rounded corner. Yeah, I think this eye is definitely looking better than this one so I'm going to do the same on that side. And just back in with that frost shade just to help give us a bit of a fade from one to the other there between the matte and the shimmer. Just doing gentle sort of dragging motions there. Just so that we can try it, I'm going to go in with the shade Wild now on the lower lash. I'm going to put that around the middle of my lower lash line. Just pressing that on with a very small brush, this one's from the end of Helberg, it's uh, 301. And then as I like it so much, I'm going to wrap that frost shade around into my inner corners and lower lash line. And then for my waterline, I'm going to go in with pink actually. I'm going to go in with Woodstock by Urban Decay, one of the 24-7 liner pencils. Because I want to pull out that pinkiness on my, my lids there and I think that might do that.
I think we've got enough going on, on the eyes. I haven't managed to use the greys or the silvers, but I think we've got enough going on there. So I'm going to just pop off camera, do mascara, liner and choose a lip and I'll be right back with you with the finished look for this one and my final thoughts on the two palettes. Okay guys, so here's the finished look for this one. And again, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I've paired this one with an Urban Decay Sheer Lipstick. This one's in Sheer Shame. Just a little bit of a glossy lip and I thought it pulled out the pinky colour from the lids. And honestly, I think that pinky colour is what makes the palette so much more versatile. Because if it was just a grey and blue palette, I don't think there's so much you could do with it. But I think with that in there, that all over the lid, maybe just with the, the grey shade could look beautiful. You could go a lot more soft and smoky with the, the greys as well. But these um, shimmers blend quite easily. So I think you could uh, blend these into the crease without too much of a problem as well. So, so yeah, love the colour scheme of it. So I'll talk about this one first as this is the one that I've just done and then I will have a, a recap on the, the Tiger one and my thoughts on the shades in that. So absolutely I think they're both worth picking up if you like the colour stories and you're able to pick them up you know easily where you live then I would totally recommend picking them up. I think from what I've tried they seem pretty consistent across the board in terms of formula and you just don't find formulas like this in the drugstore, or I haven't, that perform almost as well as high-end. These do perform better than some high-ends that I own, if I'm honest. I always use glitter glue, and I normally don't set my base, but I wanted to set the base because I thought this blue would be a bit too intense to blend. But actually, it's blended out quite easily, and I did have to take it higher than where I'd set, and didn't have any troubles with doing that and I was able to blend a shimmer into a matte without too much trouble which is what I did sort of up here so so I didn't have any troubles with that uh, I think probably for my preference one of the blues could have been a matte I would have probably have liked I don't know which one really maybe wild to have been a matte uh, that might have made it a little bit more versatile for me but I quite like having the two different shades of grey shimmer and I think you could make a really beautiful grey shimmery eye with those. So, and I think because that blue shade, the Midnight, pulls a sort of grey navy, you can blend that quite well with grey or with blue. So I think that's pretty versatile. And then to shear it out with the solitary shade, you've then got yourself a couple of different colours that you can use even though there's only, only one there really in terms of a deep matte anyway so I like the intensity of the shades I like the blendability obviously I've not tried them all so I haven't tried Himalaya which is a shimmer there uh, haven't tried Moonlight or Silent so the two greys and, and this white shimmer I've not tried so I'm eager to do that I just couldn't really fit too much more into the eye look without spoiling the look so hope you'll forgive me for that but I will use them again on my channel very soon but I absolutely love the colour story in this one and it's something a bit unique um, and particularly for the high street as well you know for the drugstore you don't see colour stories like this you tend to see a rainbow of shades or you see a lot of neutrals because that's what a lot of people buy and I think it's great to see very um, branching out into colourful colour stories that aren't rainbow that are something a little bit different that are not dupes of other people's products either so I don't know, I love Makeup Revolution, but they often dupe other colour schemes and other higher-end brands that are out there. I don't feel that this is a dupe of anything I've seen, so that's lovely. The artwork is just incredible. I mean, I don't know if you can see, there's some silver in the writing there, in Wildlife and in the, the logo there. The artwork is just beautiful. So it's by Emily Lamb on the back, and she's done absolutely awesome job for them with that. And then the Tiger palette that you saw in my first look, again, beautiful, beautiful packaging, is the same artist that did the picture. And then the shades in this one, it's ultra warm, which is great, but that pop of green with the shade Jungle and the burgundy shade Pounce are what make it special because that allows you to take it in a lot of different directions. So you could have Pounce, 
completely in your crease and then just put say feline on the lid and do a cut crease with that that would look beautiful you've got all the autumnal sort of warm shades so you could make uh, the shade ferocious your focus really and then just maybe a goldy shade like kingdom on the lid and that could look beautiful so there's quite a, a lot of directions you could go for only having nine shades I think the formula, I mean, this one's got a better ratio of mattes to shimmers in my eyes. You've got six mattes and only three shimmers in this one. In the other one, you've got seven shimmers and two mattes. But if you put the two together, you've got an amazing variety of shades. So I think for $7.99 a palette, so under £8, what's that, about $10 in the US? I don't know, I'm not very good at the conversion rates there, but... You know, they're really inexpensive, they're quality feel. Just to give you an idea, because I know a lot of you will have dubious place palettes if you love colourful makeup. Just to give you an idea of the size, I've got them next to a dubious. So that's the, the festival palette there, and that's the tiger palette. So you can see how much smaller it is um, for being a nine pan palette. It's super cute. They're, they look smaller in real life than they perhaps do on camera. Um, and that's what makes them so adorable but there's you know there's a decent amount of product in there uh, they're vegan and cruelty free 18 month shelf life you can already tell what I think I think if you like the colour story they're wholeheartedly approved I mean I've not even used every shade I don't think you're going to find a better buy from the drugstore than these right now so wholeheartedly um, support what they're doing as well with the campaign to try and save our wildlife and I, I can't wait to see more of these products popping up in store so hope you enjoyed seeing what I thought of the shades and seeing a bit of inspiration with a look for each one of them as I say I will use them again very soon on my channel because I think all of us need to perhaps be conscious of what we're spending some people have got bigger budgets than others so I I want to kind of create content both drugstore and higher end and indie as well so definitely we'll be pulling in shades from these in the future and perhaps combining them with the paradise palette that i bought in the summer and if you've not seen that this is the paradise palette so some beautiful shades in there and i think some of these deeper mattes but some of these duo chromey shimmers could look beautiful so might have to do that at some point as well so but as i say hope you've enjoyed it if you're new here and this is the first video of mine then i'd love it if you would consider subscribing before you go and comment down below guys are you planning to pick these up do you enjoy seeing a bit more drugstore content on my channel i'd love to know other than that thank you for watching have a lovely day or night wherever you are and i'll catch you in the next video bye